if you're new here, my name is Trisha Miller. I upload videos every Wednesday and Friday. My Wednesday videos usually feature my healthy meal prep for the week. Cheers to some iced coffee. It is actually Monday when I am filming this right now for the Wednesday video. I normally do my meal prep on Sundays. I think that's probably a pretty popular day to do a meal prep. But I have been sick. I wasn't feeling good, so I really need this iced coffee now. I am feeling better, thank you, but I just needed a little extra pep in my step today. So I'm really excited about the lineup that we have. So for my pre-breakfast snack, we're going to be doing breakfast cookies. For breakfast, I wanna try some copycat Starbucks egg bites. I've made egg bites a ton before. I don't think ever for you guys, but I've never tried this copycat Starbucks recipe. I've had the Starbucks egg bites, I love them. This recipe is gonna include cottage cheese Calm down. If you've heard cottage cheese and you're just getting ready to click out of this video and be done, you're not gonna taste the cottage cheese. It's gonna be okay. It's just like in my buffalo chicken dip that I do where I put cottage cheese in it. I promise you, you're not gonna taste it and I guarantee if you made it, you did not taste the cottage cheese. It adds extra protein, calcium. These are good things, you guys, so it's okay to have cottage cheese and things. Don't click out of this video quite yet. Stick with me. All right, so then for the lunch, I'm gonna do some Greek chicken bowls. I've been marinating my chicken overnight and I'll show you exactly what I used for that. It's actually not a Greek marinade, but it has just some good lemony Greek type vibe flavors to it. We're gonna do that chicken with some cut up cucumber. I'm gonna do some tzatziki sauce, maybe some carrot sticks. I was gonna do rice in it, but I actually got this really good looking pita bread for my Weight Watchers friends. It's really low points. It's like one point for an entire pita bread. So I think what I wanna do instead throughout the week is I'll just throw one in the air fryer and toast it up a little bit and cut it up and kind of dip it in the tzatziki sauce instead of doing the rice because I like to just kind of not do rice and bread, just kind of pick between the two of them. So that's the plan right now. Let's take a big sip of this coffee and get started. Oh, that first sip. Maybe two sips. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do because I need to keep my oven open for my cookies and for my egg bites, I'm gonna cook my chicken for our Greek chicken bowls in my air fryer. It has a bake feature. You could air fry it too, but I'm gonna do the bake feature so it doesn't dry it out and make it quite so crispy. Um, it's my Ninja Grill, so I'll show you guys that in a second, but I wanted to show you, this is the marinade that I use, it does not say Greek goddess, I'm sorry, I think that's blurry. This is the Primal Kitchen Green Goddess dressing and marinade, it has avocado oil in it, lemon flavors, things like that. And so I just put it in a Ziploc baggie last night and it looks really, really good. Um, for my Weight Watchers friends, it's gonna be hard to calculate the points because it was a marinade, but we'll just go ahead and assume about two tablespoons got absorbed. So when I do all of the Weight Watchers points in the description box below with the recipes, FYI, they'll all be down there. I'll just kind of calculate two tablespoons with that, but I actually think it was probably less than two tablespoons, but we'll over overestimate. So I'm gonna get this going in my liner for my air fryer. If you haven't watched my video with my favorite meal prep kitchen items, this is in there. My air fryer, things that I use every single day. I'll try to link it above, but go back and watch it, you guys. I have just some really great products. It's not sponsored. I'm not making any money off of this. Just really great products that makes life so much easier. All right, we're gonna get this in the air fryer and then we're gonna start on our cookies. All right, I got the chicken in the air fryer on bake right now. I will check it after 15 minutes with my meat thermometer. If you have not invested in a meat thermometer, I'll show you the one that I use when it's ready in 15 minutes. It's really nice and it's really inexpensive on Amazon. That is the best way to cook meat. It took me years of burning chicken, undercooking, overcooking, all the things, just using a meat thermometer and seeing that it's in the safe temperature range. It's the way to go. All right, so moving on. So we're gonna start our breakfast cookies. So we're gonna be using eggs, oatmeal, mashed up banana, any type of nut butter. I just have a bunch of the Justin's almond butter that I'm gonna use. Um, I also love the, words are hard for me right now, the American Dream nut butter. I think that means I need another sip of coffee, you guys. The American Dream nut butter is my absolute favorite. I'm low on it though, I need to do another order, so I don't wanna like waste it 
inside of these. I want to be able to dip apples in it, so I'm going to use this one instead. Unsweetened applesauce, a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of vanilla. We're going to mix them up. I've preheated the oven to 350, so we will get those in there, and then we'll move on to our egg bites. Those cookies mixed up really, really easily. Um, I noticed they were a little bit mushy, unformable. There, I needed to add a little bit more oatmeal to them, but I think that was my fault. I got a little excited when I was squeezing my applesauce pouch and I did a little bit more than a quarter of a cup. So I think if you follow the exact recipe, you won't have to add a little bit more oatmeal. But I added like maybe two more tablespoons of oatmeal just to make it a little bit more like formable for the cookies. I also decided I wanna add some Lily's chocolate chips to the top. I'll just mush a couple in each of them just to give it a little bit of extra stuff. All right, let's make our cookies. from the pantry. All right, let's check our chicken. I think I can already tell it's not going to be done. So we want it to be at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Show me 150s. Let me check the other one. Yeah, 150. So we're going to do five more minutes and recheck it. And these were like pretty thick. You could cut them in half. You could use your meat hammer and make it thinner, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to do five more minutes and then we will recheck it. All right, cookies are in the oven. Let's check our chicken for the second time. I wish you could smell how amazing this chicken smells. Oh yeah, this is looking a lot better. So let's see. Yep, went a little over. It's 175, that one's good. That one's good too. So I'm gonna take them out and just let them take a little rest, a little nap while we move on to our egg bites. 
real quick, I was talking about the thermometer and then I forgot to show you guys. So got this on Amazon, it's a magnet. So I just stick it to the side of the refrigerator. It comes with like an instruction sheet that tells you the safe temperature for all different types of meats, fish, things like that. And so all you do, let me see if I can get it to zoom in. So when you open it up, it turns on, tells you, you stick it in. I took a cooking class one time and they told me the best way to check the temperature of a meat is to actually approach from the side. So I tried to angle when I was in the air fryer, but since it was slightly above, I knew we were fine. But there you go. I'll link this below in case you want to buy it off of Amazon. Before we start mixing up our egg mixture for our egg bites, I'm going to cook the meat that I want to put inside of them. I was going to do some ham, but I changed my mind last minute. If you've watched my meal prep videos, this is going to come as no surprise, but I'm going to do my um, Applegate Farms chicken and apple breakfast sausage. It is my favorite. I am not a sausage person, but I love this stuff. So I'm going to cook probably one link per egg bite um, in my air fryer real quick, and then we'll blend up our eggs and get going. I almost spilled my coffee. That would have been really bad. Okay, so just a heads up. The recipe only makes, well, it says it makes about six of the egg bites. I'm going to do about one and a half of the recipe because I want to have two egg bites per day, so I need eight for my four-day uh, meal prep that I usually do. And then I also kind of want to have a few extra to throw in the freezer, which is a busy morning where I didn't have time to meal prep. So I'm going to do a recipe and a half, so just keep in mind what you're going to see me put in. is not going to be exactly following the recipe that I link in the description below for you. The other modification I'm going to make, the recipe calls for bacon. You saw that I'm doing my sausage that I like. And then I'm not going to do a whole cup of cheese. Instead, I'm going to kind of do a little mixture, probably a quarter of a cup of the reduced fat sharp cheddar and then another quarter of a cup of the reduced fat mozzarella. And I think that'll be plenty of cheese for the entire recipe. All right, let's blend it up. and then I, I overfilled my Nutribullet. It definitely spilled just a little bit on that second round that I did. Um, so I don't think I needed to add extra to this recipe because as you can see, I mean, there is a ton. We'll see when we start pouring, but I think I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of this egg and cottage cheese mixture. Put the sausage in first, a little bit of cheese, then do the egg mixture, and then put a little bit more cheese on top. That's gonna be my plan. So I'm gonna cut this up. Also, the cookies came out of the oven. Oh, they smell amazing. I only did eight minutes. The recipe will say 10 minutes for the cookies. But for my cookies and like brownies and desserts and stuff, I always lowball it just a little bit because they'll continue to cook when they sit on the pan and then you don't overcook it. You can always put them back in if you feel like you need to, but you can't ever take away that time once they cook. So that's the plan for that, but they smell so good between the Greek chicken and the sausage and the cookies. Oh my gosh, my house smells amazing right now. All right, so let me cut this up, get this going, and we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes. So while that is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get our lunch set up in the containers.
just a quick warning on these. When you take them out of the oven, they're going to be nice and puffy, but they will kind of deflate in the middle within five seconds. So they're not the prettiest of breakfast, but they were so good. So don't judge a book by its cover or don't judge an egg bite by its fluffiness. They are so good. Please try these. You will not regret it. almost done. So to make our Greek inspired lunch, I want to show you the uh, tzatziki sauce I'm going to use. It is the boar's head brand for my WW friends. It is very low points. So I will include always the WW information, the recipe links, all those things below. Uh, here's the chicken, you guys. Wait till you see it. Oh, it turned out so good. So I'm going to slice that up. I'm going to cut up some cucumbers. I'm going to put my dip inside of these. I will link these below. I know I've linked these below before. This is just really good. It just kind of keeps everything separate for my friends who don't like their food to touch. These are key. All right, so let me cut up the cucumbers, cut up the chicken, and then we'll start assembling. that I was talking about that I, instead of doing the brown rice that I would normally do in these bowls, I'm going to instead each day, I'm gonna pop this just in my air fryer for like two minutes to make it a little bit warm and crispy. Um, but it's the Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Pita Bread. For my WW friends, I believe it is one point for an entire pita, but this stuff is really good. So, and I like to dip it in my tzatziki sauce. So that's the plan. Future Trisha here. I wanted to let you guys know it's the next day. And what I decided to do was to take the pita bread, cut it open, stuff it with the chicken, put it in the air fryer for two minutes, and then put the cucumbers and the tzatziki sauce inside. And I ate it like that. It was so good. So I highly recommend that. Get the pita bread. You could also put it in the oven if you didn't have an air fryer, but the, I'm sure it's wonderful just as a bowl as well. But I really loved it in the pita. So much for spending time with me today if you haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications hit that thumbs up and stay tuned my video friday i'm going to be doing a kitchen restock a costco haul organization in the pantry all that good stuff so i will see you on friday